All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. I'm doing my first unboxing video ever, so it's going to be cool. I got here in front of me my massive Black Friday Tackle Warehouse order. And uh, I'm going to open it up to show you guys what I got. I'm probably not going to upload this video until about, I don't know, let's say... Probably around Christmas time because I'm a little busy with classes right now. I got finals coming up, so I don't expect to edit this video until at least uh, two or three weeks later. So if you guys are seeing this, know that this was filmed probably at least two or three weeks ago. And um, probably Merry Christmas or Happy New Year, I guess. Feels weird saying that right now. Anyways, let's open this up. So let's see what we got. Oh, it's packed to the brim, my goodness. Hopefully the angle's okay, but uh, we got our free Tackle Warehouse t-shirt. Just the t-shirt. It was, uh, it's free since I bought enough stuff, I guess. I don't remember what the cutoff was, but it was a cool promotional deal. You can go on the couch over there. Uh, we got the Eye Surrender bait wrap. This is going to be how I store my big swim baits. I got uh, currently my favorite one, the 13 Fishing Glide Bait. It's new this year. It's awesome. You guys should check it out. I think it's called the 13 Fishing Glidesdale. And then uh, moving on, we got the storage for the glide baits. We got our first glide bait that I bought. The Savage Gear. What is this? 3D Glide Swimmer in the five and a quarter inch size. Interesting color. Kind of like a bait fish imitation. Got a little bit of that mirror pattern to it. It's a little smaller. It's probably my smallest one I'm going to be throwing. But yeah, I'll be using that. Slightly bigger one. The classic River to Sea S Waver 168. Or, or S168. S Waver 168, yeah. So, next up, we got the River to Sea S Waver in the bone color. And uh, this is the 168 size. This is a classic glide bait. Everybody knows of this, or I hope. If you haven't heard of this one, just look it up. There's plenty of videos. So this is an awesome bait. I'm gonna be throwing this one a lot. And uh, next up, we got the Lunker Hunt Phantom Spiders. These are cool looking. Eh, they're pretty big for spiders, but hey, I shall eat them. They look cool. They're kind of like frogs, but they're spiders instead of frogs. We'll see how they work probably in the summer next year when it's a little warmer. Let's see, we got the uh, some Lunger Hunt Slash Impacts. These are pretty cheap jerkbait, but uh, I actually really like the action on these, especially for river fishing, river smallies in particular. I've caught, I've caught a bunch of nice river smallies on this exact pattern uh, earlier this year in the spring, so I'm going to be throwing these in a few months. Uh, what else? That was a lot. The KVD, the new KVD... What is this? The I don't know what size this is, but I think it's the KVD 100. Very, very small. If you look at that, that's my hand. Not too much of a reference, but uh, oh yeah, here for reference, I also got the KVD 100, the standard size. This is one of my favorite jerk baits, and this is my favorite color, strobe shad, or is it just something like that? Yeah, got the chartreuse belly and then purple on top. So it's for reference, this is the normal size, right? And this is the new size on the bottom. Much, much smaller. Going to be amazing for smallies. Probably a little bit of multi-species stuff. Maybe even walleye. I really like that already. Definitely going to be throwing that a lot. Let's see what we got next. Some chatterbaits. Got the chatterbait elite. What else? We got the uh, chatterbait custom. So yeah, chatterbait. I'm, I'm sure you guys know what a chatterbait is. So do I have any more in here? Oh uh, yeah, I got one more in here. Got some standard colors, the chartreuse and white. It's classic. Green pumpkin, it's a classic. White, it's a classic. Can't go wrong with these colors, guys. So, chatterbaits are awesome. So we got some Fuji Tackle Easy Keepers. So, I'm sure you'll notice, but I have a lot of jerk baits in here, right? So, my jerk baits, sometimes when uh, you have your rods, right? I wish I had a rod I could show you, but Usually, a lot of the rods, the hook keeper will actually be below the handle. So if like I'm holding the rod up here, right, in my hand, the hook keeper will actually be down here. 
and that's actually that's really nice so it doesn't get in the way for most baits but if you throw a lot of jerk baits like i do and you've got like three treble hooks hanging off of it a lot of the times when you go to grab the handle those treble hooks will be right where your hand is supposed to be so i really don't like that so i buy these i put them above the handle and then i uh, i just put my jerk bait on this instead of the actual hook keeper that's built into the rod and i use this almost exclusively for jerk baits and then anything else with troubles i guess and then for regular baits like a chatter bait a jig or anything else i'll just throw that right on the regular hook keeper so these are great for jerk baits or if your rod doesn't have a hook keeper these are really really great they're really cheap a couple dollars each and uh they're awesome moving on the owner of beast swim bait hooks holy moly <laughs> all right that's massive all right so we got the six aught and the four aught so four aught on the left and the six aught on the right so that's a pretty big hook pretty substantial hook so i'm going to be using these for big swim baits obviously i got some really cool swim baits from 13 fishing recently and uh probably make a video about those eventually just fishing big swim baits i got plenty uh plenty of glide baits and stuff so once the once the weather is permitting and i'm done with classes and everything i'll probably try to get out there it'll be late december by then but if there's still open water probably throw some big swim baits and glide baits but yeah these hooks are massive they're gonna be gonna be awesome i'm gonna throw these on like a heavy rod or something really cool stuff no oh, another jerk bait as i was saying i throw a lot of jerk baits perch color it works great for pike uh that's about it really uh, let's see what else we got some jigs so we got a football jig got the dirty jigs the football jig and like the pitching jig i think these are both half ounce or maybe three eighths yeah these are both three eighths so we got the uh the go-to which is like basically just like a green pumpkin with a little bit of red or brown in it good color really natural looking just throw a green pumpkin crawl on the back of that you're good to go and we got the uh i think this is magic craw so it's green pumpkin, and if you can see, it's got a couple strips of iridescent blue through there. It's really good in the springtime, because, like, especially up here in Michigan, springtime lasts until, like, June. So, like, three months out of the year, I can throw this and catch really, really nice bass. So in the spring, the bass are really keyed in on the bluegill, right? And they just eat the bluegill, and that's all they eat. Maybe cray crayfish, craws, whatever you call them, crawdads. They eat those a little bit, too, and this will also mimic that, but the color really mimics the bluegill which allows you to catch them pretty much all the way up into like midsummer. I feel like they'll be eating the bluegill. And since it's so cold in Michigan, the cold water bluegill, they have that blue tinge to them on their backs, that iridescent purple or blue. They have that for most of the year, I feel like. So that's a really good bait up here in Michigan. Anyways, moving on. Replacement hooks. I fish a lot of jerk baits. Kamikatsu, round bend, size four, standard wire. Uh, what else? Jerk bait, husky jerk, clown. Great for pike. Moving on. I've talked about I've talked enough about jerk baits. Reaction innovations. Sweet beaver. It's the uh it's my favorite beaver bait to be honest. It's like the OG, right? Get it OG fishing. Uh yeah, yeah. I'm so funny. Anyways, I'm gonna pair these with the magic craw jigs that I just showed you a minute ago. Don't know where I threw that, but uh these are going to go with that. I'm going to trim off the tail a little bit or trim off a little bit off the back and then just slide it right up there. That'll be killer in the springtime. Next up, we got some Ned Rig stuff. We got the Missile Baits, the Ned Bomb and Green Pumpkin. And then we also have the Robo Worm in Desert Craw. I've heard a lot about this color. I've been wanting to try it out. It looks kind of boring at first glance, but we'll, we'll see how it does. And the Ned Bomb... It looks really cool. I don't think I'm going to fish this anytime soon because it's got more action than your typical Ned bait. I'm going to fish this when the water's a little warmer. So those are cool. What else do we got in here? So we got some uh, Ned Rig jig heads. The Swagger Tungsten. They got a really stout hook on there. And it's uh, slightly longer than the standard Ned Rig hook. So you can throw a little bit bigger bait on there stick bigger fish and be confident about not land or not losing them one sixth ounce pretty standard size this is really good oh lipless crankbait throw these in the spring a lot 
kind of random. It's in there. And I think the rest is just weights. I got some drop shot weights over here. These are the Swagger Tungsten, the tie-on version. Got the teardrops as well as the uh, the stick weights. I drop shot a lot in the spring. Those are that. And then uh, we got some tungsten worm weights. Slightly heavier ones, 3 16 Then we got 1 8 Texas rigs are really, really good in the spring, as I said. Most of this stuff is stuff I plan on throwing either through the winter or into the into the springtime. So these will be great. And if you notice, I really like Swagger Tungsten because they make really good tungsten products. I got like a bunch of stuff. But yeah, that's it for that's it for this. Before I forget, I don't know if you're gonna see this at the beginning or at the end of the video, but happy holidays everybody, whatever you celebrate. Happy New Year, and uh, hope you guys are well during the winter. Don't stay warm, stay safe, and uh, hopefully we'll get out there on ice season. Hopefully I'll have a few ice fishing videos for you soon. So yeah, stay tuned. See you next time.